Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to straighten themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. For his princes were at Zoan, and his ambassadors came to Hanes. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be a help, nor profit, but a shame, and also a reproach, the burden of the beasts of the south into the land of trouble and anguish. From whence come the young and old lion, the viper and fiery flying serpent. They will carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses, and their treasures upon the bunches of camels, to a people that shall not profit them, for the Egyptians shall help in vain, and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come, forever and ever. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, to the prophets, prophesy not unto us, write things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces, he shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it assured, to take fire from the hearth, or to take water withal out of the pit. For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall ye be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall ye shall be your strength, and ye would not. But she said, No, for we will flee upon horses, therefore shall ye flee. We will ride upon the swift, therefore shall they that pursue you be swift. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one, at the rebuke of five shall ye flee, till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain, and as an ensign on a hill. And therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you, for the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Zion, at Jerusalem thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left, ye shall defile also the covering of the graven images of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth. Thou shalt say unto it, Get thee hence. And shall he give the rain of thy seed, that thou shalt sow the ground withal, and bread of the increase of the earth, and it shall be fat and plenteous. In that day shall thy cattle feed in large pastures, the oxen likewise, and the young asses, that ere the ground shall eat clean provender, which hath been winnowed with the shovel and with the fan. 
But there shall be upon every high mountain, upon every high hill, rivers and streams of waters in the day of the great slaughter. When the towers fall, moreover the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. The light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days in the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people and healeth the stroke of their wound. Behold, the name of the Lord cometh from far, burning with his anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation, and his tongue is a devouring fire, and his breath as an overflowing stream shall reach to the midst of the neck to sift the nations with the sieve of vanity. There shall be a bridle in the jaws of the people, causing them to err. He shall have a song as in the night when a holy Solemnity is kept, and gladness of heart is when one goeth with the pipe to come into the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel. The Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard, and shall show the lighting down of his arm with the indignation of his anger, and with the flame of a devouring fire, with the scattering and tempest and hailstones. For through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beaten down, which smote with the rod, and in every place where the grounded staff shall pass, which the Lord shall lay upon him, it shall be with tabrets and harps, and in battles of shaking with the fight with it. For Tophet is ordained of old, yea, for the king it is prepared, he hath made it. Deep and large the pile thereof is fire, and much wood the breath of the Lord like a stream of brimstone doth kindle it.